Hey guys, it's me, it's Chelsea. So it's been about 12 hours now since we steamed the pudding. Um, oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, I don't know where it's best to put you today. Um, okay. He's close right there. Okay. I'm super nervous, super, super nervous, because I never used this steamer before. It was a present for me for my birthday. It was very expensive. Um. Hmm. I know it's it, sh it shouldn't be overcooked, I hope, because you see there's still water in there. Um. Low, but I see the water is awfully low. Uh oh. Um, okay. Just trying to figure out the best way to do this. I don't think I lost this thing. Um. Hmm. I don't know if it's cooked. I wasn't expecting that to happen, man. That's a plot twist. Okay, well, um... It doesn't look cooked. Um, hmm. I guess this is better than being burnt to a crisp. <laughs> I think the instructions are, so you know what it's done. Okay. I think I can just remove the steamer from the other one. Right up there, I'll be on one side. Use a close. Oh. Shit. Shit. Not, we do not read this very well. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Put the mixture into the oven, into the pudding basin and smooth over the top. Cover the basin with a layer of oiled foil. Double fold it in the center and secure with a string. Great. <laughs> Great. I knew it. I knew it. I'm like, why is this fancy thing that I'm so freaking concerned about following the pudding and uh, the steamer instructions verbatim that and this wasn't the recipe I followed but um I didn't look at the instructions for how to put it into the pudding thing great <laughs> so I just made soggy pudding for 12 hours 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock oh crap I have to work tonight man I don't have time to re-steam this now. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, it's so tricky. These are so tricky. This is some of the hardest baking you'll ever do. Just because there's so much intensity to it. It's like three parts, basically. Um, because one thing, I don't have a food processor, so I literally chopped this all by hand. Um, and then you can steam them anywhere from... Some puddings can steam for three to four hours, which is a little nicer, but... This traditional one steams for 12 hours, so that's what I did. And then I see this new recipe book here, this one, said I could have done it for six hours, but I forgot the tinfoil part. Now that I forgot, it's just I wasn't reading this instruction. I was reading this one. So <laughs> I just screwed myself out of 12 hours. <sighs> but I didn't ruin the pot. So hey, it's all good. And the puddings will get done. It will get done in time for Christmas. No worries. I just gotta do it again. I hope it's not ruined, though. Cause this has to sit for so long. Oh, okay. I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching my failed Christmas pudding. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and tell me if you've used a pudding steamer before. My old method, I wouldn't have screwed up like that. Cause that's exactly what I did. <laughs> layer it in foil, layer it in brown paper, tie it up with string like the sound of music. These are a few of my favorite things.
Anyway, great. Okay, so I'm going to try and deal with this. <laughs> Bye!